Are you this morning? Are you hearing this today? I think there's some of us today. God wants to place a fresh vision inside of your life. There's so many that there's been things God has stirred, and maybe over time we sort of let that go and stop believing for this, stop praying about that because the crowd just kind of pulled us back to the way things were. We became kind of uncomfortable. God, when are you going to break? When are you really going to do it? It just didn't seem to make sense to continue contending. Maybe we lost conviction along the way, but today I believe the presence of God is here to stir up faith and take the limitations off your vision. I'm here to ask you, what's stopping the vision from your life? Maybe you're here today and you've never invited Jesus in your heart. You didn't know that God loved you. You didn't know that there was a Savior named Jesus who went to a cross. You might be here for the first time or come a thousand times. You may have heard the message before, but there's never a moment where you've invited him into your heart. You can do it today. The Bible says we're saved by putting our faith in Jesus. When we believe in what he did. When I begin to believe that what he did on the cross, he did for me. That when he gave his life, he did it. That my sins can be forgiven because of that sacrifice. When I begin to believe something happens and the limits of my life begin to change. Limited by myself, I'm limited by my mistakes, I'm limited by my past, but God can break through the limits of your life. And today, if you've never invited Jesus into your heart, I want to give you an opportunity to do that before we do anything else today. And so if you're here in Rubicon, if you're in any of the remote sites today, listen, I'm talking to you. The service overseer is going to come on the stage and help me, but in just a minute, I'm going to ask you if this is what you want. You say, I've never asked Jesus in my heart, but I want to do it today. I don't understand everything, but I know I want this. I want God in my life. I want that forgiveness. I want that peace. Maybe you need a miracle. A life change that starts by giving your heart to Jesus. So in just a moment, I'm going to pray for those that want this. If you want it, I'm going to ask you to, in just a moment, lift your hand. Just as a simple sign so that I know who I'm praying for this morning. And in all the locations, the service overseers will be there to see it. As hands go up, we're going to see your hand. We'll pray for you. God is going to do something amazing in your life this morning. Don't live a life that's living. Don't live a life separated from God. This morning, you can know him. This morning, he can change you. This morning, there can be a breakthrough in your life. So I'm just going to invite everybody to close your eyes for a moment today. So there's some privacy. And in a second, I'm going to ask if this is what you want. And you're going to slip up your hand so that I can see. The service overseers can see in the location. They'll know who did it so we know who we're praying for this morning. You're just saying as a simple sign, hey, count me in. Pray for me. I want this. This, this. this moment is my moment. You know, Bartimaeus had a split second. Jesus was passing by. And I believe this morning Jesus is here. Don't let him pass you by. Take this moment. Take this opportunity. If you're far away from Him and you need to come back to Him, take this moment and say, Jesus, I need Lord, I want you in my life. I need that forgiveness. I need that change. With every eye.